he, compose myself to say this, he has more dedication and passion as a Husky than anyone I have ever known. He has spent countless hours of his time and talent to support the kids here today. He was one who was one of the first students to walk through the doors of our school when it opened in 1959. He is from the second graduating class from 1961. It's my honor and privilege to introduce our leader, our president of the Deeriff Alumni Association, Mr. John Hughes.
I happen to be on one board with them, the downtown school district foundation. And the love that this man shows for downtown, particularly for Deerth, is beyond belief. He still is a husky, a proud husky. And I'm most proud to call him a friend. Welcome, John Stevens. Association Committee for selecting me as one of the inaugural recipients of the new Wall of Distinction. When I received two calls, I said I was, again, surprised and very humbled. I don't expect anything like that because our purpose is here to, to give and not to receive. Our alma mater is in its 60th year, and for me to think of being selected from over 20,000 graduates, to me, is simply unfathomable. I congratulate, again, the five fellow recipients. And to me, they are stars of the universe. And to me, to be among them, I'm lucky to just to be in their galaxy. So, and throughout our education, many of our fellow recipients, you can always have someone that inspires you and for your careers, one of whom this auditorium was named after, Mr. Peter Carpenter. Now, he wasn't just a teacher, he was an educator and a friend, and always available to speak to anybody at any time. It's just amazing. But anyway, if anybody wants to know why I went to OEG Wuhan, my junior and senior year chemistry and physics teacher, his name is Mr. Papp. It's a true story, Mr. Lana knows that. And about those huskies that John said when he mentioned about delivering huskies, I said at that time, I didn't know how to deliver the paper or the mail. You know, but one thing you don't do, you don't try to grab the placentas from them. A uh, husky with big teeth like that, but it was, it was quite an honor. And to, just to be prepared, you know, we think back from elementary, and I went through the school system from Sheridan, and Harrison Morton, and Dara Feist, and it was nothing like it. And if somebody would have predicted out of all these things that I'd be a witness to many thousands of miracles referring to the miracle of childbirth, I would have said, forget it. I never would have believed it then. And when participating, in the 25th anniversary, we had anniversary choir and band here at Derrick. And uh, Mr. Carpenter, of course, was part of that. <laughs> well, I was asking one of the fellow choir members, when did you graduate from Derrick? And she said, 2005. She said, well, when did you graduate? And I said, well, uh, when I went to Derrick, they didn't have the subject of history. We made history. <laughs> so I said, and, I, and, and like Joey, there's nothing like the Sixth Ward. And if you lived in the Sixth Ward, many of us had a number of situs and jidus and got our fill of kippy, tabouli, grape leaves, luck and showy, luck and mystery, you call it. We had that food. And, so, and when I went to college the first year in a sociology class, within a two mile radius of Second and Tillman, 11 ethnic churches. So talk about diversity. And where else would you find a synagogue across the street from the Syrian Orthodox Church? It was on 2nd Street. It was amazing. So we learned to live with everybody. I think that helped Joe be successful too. And I said, a lot of people to thank. Of course, with the committee, Kay, Joanne. I thank God, my parents, the many teachers, alumni president, John Hughes, my family, our son came down and died off from New York City today. Our daughter, Marissa, lives, lives in Fulton, and her husband, Mike, the grandchildren. There's at least three of them here. And um, my sister and brother, Mike, came from Ocean City, New Jersey today. My sister, sister, she graduated from here from 1967. 
and her husband Gwen, which I, I appreciate very much. I'm really surprised that they showed up. And of course, to, not to forget my best friend, Zolmi, my wife for over 50 years, my wife Anita. She put up with me all these years. <laughs> And as a mentor, teacher, and preceptor for healthcare professionals, I try to remind them the patients you see, some people may forget what you did. They may forget what you, what you, what you said to them, but they'll never forget how you make them feel. So try to make everybody feel good, to look at all the positives. Whatever their condition might be, we're always willing to help. And um, just one thing I want to mention here, that's something different about our year of high school. And it's something called Husky Pride. If the Reverend would be here, he'd probably say, well, Pride is one of the seven cardinal sins or capital sins. My definition is not more of a noun, it's more of an adjective. If you're a Husky, you're loyal, you're a family, you're a comrade, you have the feeling of belonging, your willingness to help anyone at any time unconditionally, giving of ourselves. And we use the term Husky Pride it's synonymous with giving for ourselves. And somebody nobody else can, can believe in must have been here and they lived through it. You see, you can be very, very proud. And as our alma mater says, and we saw it on the screen, to you forever will always belong. I salute you.